In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream or record your animated keynote presentation in OBS. Hey, it's Mike with more tips and tutorials to help you create great video for your YouTube channel, your video marketing or online courses. Thank you so much for being here. You know, as well as being presentation software, Apple Keynote is a powerful, easy to use graphics and animation program that you can use to make all kinds of videos. But Keynote has one big gotcha. When you play a Keynote slideshow, it takes over your Mac's entire graphics system, including any external monitors you have connected to your Mac, which makes Keynote difficult to use in live streaming software like OBS, where typically you have one monitor for the OBS interface and a second monitor for your slideshow. But you can't do that if you plan on playing your Keynote slideshow in your OBS live stream or recording, which is a shame because what makes Keynote such a great video creation tool are its animations and transitions. Well, all is not lost. I'm going to show you a way to play your Keynote slideshow with its animations and transitions in your OBS live stream or recording. Let's jump in. So here we are in Keynote. This is version 9.1 running on Mac OS Mojave 10.14.6. And I have this slideshow that I want to use in my OBS live stream or recording. I'm just going to go up to the top bar here and press the play button to play the slideshow so you can see what's going on. I'll move through my slideshow using the forward arrow key. And as you can see, I have several animations and transitions, including Magic Move. Now, to play this dynamic Keynote slideshow in OBS, without Keynote hijacking my entire graphics system in the process, I'm going to export this slideshow as HTML. So I'm just going to exit out of this by hitting Escape. Now, exporting as HTML may sound like an odd choice, but stick with me. All will be revealed. Now, before I export my Keynote slideshow as HTML, I'm just going to go up to the far right of the top menu here and select the Document button. And down here, make sure that my presentation type is set to Normal or my slideshow won't behave properly after I export it as HTML. All right, I'm ready to export, so I'll go up to File, Export to HTML. And I get this dialog box confirming that I want to export as HTML, and I do, so I'll hit Next. And I get a Save dialog. I'm just going to save my exported slideshow to the desktop here and hit Export. And Keynote exports my slideshow as HTML. All right, now I'll go find my exported slideshow. And it's right here in this folder, which is labeled with the name of my Keynote project. If we go into this folder, you'll see we have two items. We have a folder labeled Assets, which contains the media and code that make up my slideshow. But what I'm interested in is this index.html file down here. This is a web page. So when I double click it, it opens up in a browser window. Embedded in this web page is my keynote slideshow. I'm going to make my slideshow full screen by going up to the top menu of my browser and under view, I'll select enter full screen. And here's my slideshow. And I can use the forward and backward arrow keys on my keyboard to navigate through my slideshow, just like I would if I was playing it in Keynote, which is the reason why I made sure presentation type was set to normal in my slideshow's document settings. And as a bonus, when I hover over the left side of the presentation here, I get this pop-out menu which shows all of the slides in my slideshow, so I can select them randomly. But most importantly, my Keynote slideshow is now contained in this browser window, so I can play my Keynote slideshow without having Keynote take over my entire graphics system, which means I can run my Keynote slideshow 
on a second monitor and still have access to OBS's interface on my main monitor while I stream or record. A couple of things to keep in mind when exporting your Keynote slideshow as HTML. Not all of Keynote's animations and transitions are supported in the HTML format, so you're going to have to do some testing with that. And you may lose a little bit of image quality versus playing your slideshow directly out of Keynote. Keynote compresses your images just a little bit when exporting to HTML. But honestly, I haven't noticed much of a quality difference. All right. Now that my Keynote slideshow has been exported as HTML and is ready to go, I'm going to hop on over to OBS and show you how to use a Keynote slideshow in your OBS live stream or recording. All right, here we are in Open Broadcaster Software or OBS for Mac. This is version 23.2.1. Again, running on Mac OS Mojave 10.14.6 for your reference. And I'm gonna build a basic scene here in OBS that includes my webcam and my keynote slideshow. So down here, I created a scene in the scenes panel called tutorial mode. And this is the scene we're gonna build for the demo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a source to this scene by clicking the plus button here in the sources panel. And because I'm adding my webcam, I'm going to add a video capture device source and I get the source creation dialog. I'm just gonna leave this as a default and hit OK. And now from the properties for video capture panel, I'm gonna go down to the device. And from the list, I'm going to select my HD Pro Webcam C920. And up pops the preview in the properties panel. I'm gonna leave the defaults as is and just hit OK. And I'm gonna just move myself down to the corner here in the canvas. And I'm gonna size myself down a bit there. Great. Okay, now I'm going to add my keynote slideshow as a source in this tutorial mode scene. So I'll go back down to the sources panel and hit the plus button. And because I'm adding my monitor, which is a display, I'm going to add a display capture source. Select that. I'm going to leave the defaults as is for now. And then up comes the properties for my display capture. And right now it's showing display zero in the canvas and that's my main monitor. So I'm gonna select from this menu and select display one, which is my external monitor, which has my keynote presentation on it. I'm also gonna uncheck show cursor just to hide my cursor on that second monitor and hit okay. Okay, so this is the basic arrangement. I'm just going to have this selected display capture and just move it down underneath my webcam by clicking the down arrow. And here I am. Okay, so now I'm just gonna hop over to my second display and put my keynote slideshow, which is in the browser window into full screen. So I'll go to view, enter full screen. And there's my keynote slideshow in full screen on my second monitor. So now I'm just gonna start a recording and step through my presentation and all my animations and builds and see how it works out. So I'll go down here and select start recording and we're recording. So then I'm gonna go back over to my second monitor and just step through my slideshow. So we have the animation here and these builds and magic move all seem to be working. And there we are. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording and have a look at how it turned out in the recording here in OBS. So I'll hit stop recording. And then I'm gonna go find my OBS recording and play it back. All right, here is my OBS recording. And I'm gonna hit play, see how things turned out. And we're recording. So then I'm gonna go back over to my second monitor and just step through my slideshow. So we have the animation here and these builds and magic move all seem to be working. And there you can see my keynote slideshow playing with its animations and builds and transitions inside of my OBS recording. Using this keynote HTML technique, you can introduce some slick and dynamic visual content into your educational or tutorial style 
OBS live streams or recordings. And of course, if you're looking for more OBS tutorials, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell notification icon so you're notified as soon as I upload a new video. And of course, check out my channel for other video creation how-to content. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.